हेलो स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज योर इंग्लिश लेसन इन दिस लेसन वी विल रीड यूनिट नंबर थर्टीन फ्रॉम ऑक्सफोर्ड रीडिंग सर्कल बुक सेवन सो वी स्टार्ट आर लेसन द टाइटल ऑफ द यूनिट इज द वैली ऑफ स्पाइडर्स एंड दिस इज पेज नंबर वन ट्वेंटी थ्री फ्रॉम योर बुक टू वर्ड्स मी डे द थ्री परस्यूअर्स परस्यूअर्स अ पर्सन और पर्सन हु ब्रिंग्स or bring a case against another into court pursuers came abruptly abruptly suddenly round a bend in the dry river bed into a very broad a spacious valley the difficult and winding trench trench a long narrow ditch trench of pebbles along along which they had tracked the fugitives for so long fugitives or fugitive a person who is running from police expanded to a broad slope to gather the three men left the trail and rode up to stop on a small hill the two others a little behind the man with the silver studded bridle they scanned the great expanse below them with eager eyes it spread far with only a few clusters of thorn bushes cluster a group of similar things dotted through the desolation desolation empty place desolation of yellow grass in the now waterless river bed in the distance lay the bluish slopes of the further hills and above them invisibly supported and seem and seeming indeed to hang hang in the blue were the snow clad snow clad covered with fallen snow mountain tops that grew larger and bolder as the sides of the valley drew together by the three men looked only stead fastly across the valley the gaunt man gaunt white thin the gaunt man with the scared lip scarred lip marked with scar was the first to speak now here he said with disappointment in his voice they don't know we are after them said the little man on the white horse and they can't go fast on foot i know all that snarled the man snarled elf animal make an aggressive growl with a silver bridle the gaunt man said if we ride hard he glanced at the white horse and paused of course all white horses said the man with the silver bridle and turned to scan the beast his course included the little man looked down at his steed and sighed steed a horse that is ridden the two others started again across the valley come on said the owner of the silver bridle suddenly the horse hoofs of the three made a multitudinous faint multitudinous very numerous faint pattering as they turned back towards the trail they rode cautiously down the long slope before them through a waste of prickly prickly thorny twisted bushes and strange dry shapes of horny branches that grew amongst the rocks into the levels below and there the trail grew faint faint the soil was scanty scanty in a small amount and the only herbage sparse herbage soft and leafy uh, soft and leafy plants sparse in short supply still by hard scanning leaning down over the horses necks and pausing often they followed their prey there were trodden places trodden step and walk places bent and broken blades of the coarse grass coarse rough and occasionally the sufficient intimation of a footmark and once they saw a smear of blood smear mark of blood where the escaped servant girl may have trod the gaunt man checked his leader's tracking and the little man on the white horse rode behind a man lost in a dream 
they rode one after another the man with the silver bridle leading and they spoke never a word after a time the little man on the white horse started out of his dream he was suddenly aware that besides the little noises of their houses horses and equipment the whole great valley was as quiet as a painted scene there was no breeze what a vast still place it was and the sky open and blank except for a somber wheel wheel of haze wheel of haze uh, here somber mean dark dark wheel of haze that had gathered in the upper valley black blank slopes on either side with no sign of any life a wilderness once more he slumbered down slumbered fall heavily again he was start started from his day days when he pulled up sharply to avoid a cloyan cloyan here crash with the gaunt man who had stopped upon the trail just at that guilty moment he caught his master's eye looking hard at him for a time he forced an interest in the tracking then as they rode on again he was distracted again wa distracted again watching the movement of shadows as they passed them they had ridden four days out of the very limits of the world into this desolate place desolate uh, place mean barren on uninhabited place why all for some worthless runaways hello said the gaunt man all three stopped abruptly what asked the master what something's coming said the gaunt man pointing and as he spoke an animal crested arise and came racing towards them it was a big wild dog running with such an intensity of purpose that he did not seem to see the horseman he approached as he drew nearer the little man felt for his sword and shouted he is mad said the gaunt rider the dog the dog swerved swerved to change direction painting past them the little man watched its flight there was no foam he said the man with the silver studded bridle sta stared up the valley oh come on he cried and they moved on the little man left the insoluble mystery of a dog that fled from nothing but the wind and lapsed into deep thoughts come on he whispered to himself why should it be that he gets to command me then the little man became aware of something he rode up beside his gaunt fellow do you notice the horses he said quietly they don't like this wind but then dropped behind as the master glared at him it's all right said the gaunt faced man they rode on again in silence the foremost to scan the trail the little man watched the haze that crept down the vastness of the valley and noted how the wind grew its strength movement by movement far away on the left the he saw a line of wild wild hop wild hogs galloping down the valley hog is a pig here but he said nothing about that nor did he remark again upon the uneasiness of the horses and then he saw first one then many more great shining white balls like a gigantic had gigantic a very great size head of thistle down that soared high in the air and dipped up and down again and caught for a moment and hurried on and passed and at the sight of them the restlessness of the horses increased suddenly a huge boar rushed past them squealing loudly and at that all three stopped and sat in their saddles staring into the thickening haze that was coming upon them if it were not for this thistle down began the leader but now a big globe 
came drifting past within a score of yards of them it was really not a, an even sphere at all but a vast soft ragged filmy thing a sheet gathered by the corners an aerial jellyfish as it were but rolling over and over as it advanced and trailing long cob cobwebby threads and streamers that floated in its wake it isn't thistle down said the little man i don't like the stuff said the gaunt man and they looked at one another curse it cried the leader the air is full of it up there if it keeps on like this it will stop us altogether right and left of the horsemen the pioneers of this strange army passed at one that rolled along the ground breaking sharp lessly and trailing out reluctantly into long grappling ribbons and bands all three horses began to shy and dance the master was seized with a sudden unreasonable impatience he cursed the drifting globes roundly get on he cried these things don't matter Bla back to the trail he he sore at his horse and sword the bit across its mouth he shouted aloud with rage i will follow that trail i tell you where it is he gripped the bridle of his prancing horse prancing walk in an energetic way and searched amidst the grass a long and clinging thread fell across his face a gray streamer dropped about his bridle arm some big active thing with many legs ran down the back of his head he looked up to discover one of those gray masses anchored as it were above him by these things and flapping out ends as a sail flaps when a boat come about but noiselessly he had an impression of many eyes of a dense crew of squat bodies squat sit with one's knees bent of long many joint limbs hauling at their mooring ropes to bring the thing down upon him mooring a place to tie boat the slashes of a blade slashes cut with a knife or sword around him startled him out of a hypno hypnotic daze star startled feeling sudden sh shock spiders cried the voice of the gaunt man the things are full of big spiders look my lord the master found himself staring down at a red smashed smashed badly broken spiders on the ground then when the gaunt man pointed to another mass that bore down upon them he drew his sword has hastily he tried to grasp the situation right for it down the valley the little man was shouting what happened then was like the confusion of a battle the man with the silver bridle saw the little man to pa ma man go past him slashing furiously at cobwebs cobwebs a spider's web saw the horse of the gaunt man fall and haul its ride, rider off his own horse was panicked and he struggled to rein it in then he looked up to avoid imaginary dangers and then back again to see a horse rolling on the ground the gaunt man standing and slashing over it as a fluttering mass of gray that steam streamed and wrapped about them both and thick and fast the spiders were coming on the little man had dismounted but he dared not release his horse he held it with one arm while with the other he slashed aimlessly at the tentacles tentacles of a gray mass that he had entangled them tentacle is a long thin part of the body of an animal etc the gaunt man left his horse and struggled forward towards his master his legs were swathed swathed and in 
cucumber swatched advice on a mowing machine in cucumber hinder with gray he swung his sword in effectually in effectually not producing the proper effect gray streamers waved from him there was a thin veil of gray across his face with his left hand he beat at something on his body and suddenly he stumbled and fell he struggled to rise and fell again and suddenly horribly began to howl the master could see the gray spider upon him and others upon the ground as he strove to force his horse away from his gesticulating gesticulating his gesture screaming gray object that struggled up and down the little man back on the white horse and clutching its mane whirled past and again a clinging thread of gray gossamer gossamer a thin light delicate material gossamer swept across the master's face all about him and over him it seemed this cobweb drew nearer him then he was galloping full tilt down the valley with his sword whirling furiously overhead and all about him the spiders air ships their air bundles and air sheets seemed to him to hurry in a conscious pursuit the man with the silver bridle rode headless of his direction with his fearful face looking up now right now left and his sword arm ready to slash and a few yards ahead of him with a tail of torn cobweb trailing behind him rode the little man on the white horse the master was so intent to escape the spiders that only as his horse gathered to gather for a leap did he realized the ravine ahead ravine a deep narrow gorge with steep sides and then he realized it only to misunderstand and interfere he was leaning forward on his horse back neck and sat up and back all too late just in time he jumped clear and though the horse fell to its death was left with a mere with a mere bruise upon his shoulder bros and injury he was on his feet in a moment breathlessly scanning the on rushing spider webs on rushing advancing for a moment he was minded to run and then thought of the ravine and turned back he ran aside once to dodge dodge one drifting terror dodge a white someone or something moving quickly one drifting terror and then he was swiftly clambering down and precipitous sides precipitous dangerous dangerously high and out of the touch of the gale there hidden behind rocks he crouched and watched the strange gray masses pass and pass in safely safety till the wind fell and it became possible to escape then presently when he was sure these spider swarms could not drop into the ravine he found a place where he could sit down and sat and began to gnaw his knuckles no bite something persistent uh, persistently knuckles and bite his nails and there he stayed until the arrival of the man with the white horse he had never liked the little man and now reading the judgment of cowardice in his eyes he rose up in anger and struck him down before he could speak cowardice here means lack of bravery towards nightfall the wind fell the sun set and the man who had once possessed the silver bridle came at last very cautiously and by an easy slope out of the ravine but now he led the white horse that once belonged to the little man he would have gone back to his horse to get his silver mounted bridle but he feared that he might find the horse swathed in cobwebs and unpleasantly eaten and as he thought of those cobwebs and of all the dangers he had been through and survived he felt deep gratitude 
as as he did so his eyes went across the valley they also died no doubt he thought but behold far away out of the wooded slopes across the valley he saw a little spire of smoke perhaps after all it is not them he said at last but he knew better after he had stared at the smoke for some time he mounted the white horse to ride home exercises a questions one briefly explain who the three men were and what they were doing answer the three men were pursuers who were looking for fugitives for long in the winding trench of pebbles two find evidence to show which man was in charge answer the man with the silver studded bridle was the head as the other two walked a little behind him three what did the master say about the white horse do you think he changed his mind later answer he cursed the white horses later he did change his mind four before the spiders attacked what signs were there that something was wrong who noticed the signs why did the others not notice them answer a vast soft ragged filmy thing a sheet gathered the corners by the corners as if an aerial jellyfish came drifting past the gaunt man noticed it first the other did not notice it because the trail grew faint as the soil was scanty five what evidence was there that two of the men did not like each other answer they rode one after another but never spoke a word Six. What happened to the three horses? Answer: The three horses bolted. Seven. Why did the master kill the little man? Answer: The master killed the little man because he had dared to call his master a coward. Eight. Have you ever had a scary encounter with spiders? The answer is no. I did not have a scary encounter with spiders. B reference to context. Read these lines from the story, then answer the questions. One, what happened then was like the confusion of a battle. A, what is being referred to? Answer, the attack of the spiders. B, in what ways is it confusing? answer the confusing thing was the red mass on the ground wriggling on wailing legs see what happens to the gaunt man answer the gaunt man was dead two it was really not an even sphere at all but a vast soft ragged filmy thing a sheet gathered by the corners and aerial jellyfish a what is being described answer the spider's web b what is inside this strange thing answer cobwebby threads and streamers c explain the metaphor an aerial jellyfish answer the cobwebs have been compared to air jelly aerial jellyfish that are equally transparent c words and meaning one find two examples of vivid description in the story briefly explain what makes each one effective share your responses with the rest of the class the answer is they scanned the great expanse below them with eager eyes in spread far with only a few clusters of thorn bushes dotted through the desolation of yellow grass in the now waterless river bed in the distance lay the bluish slopes of the farther hills and above them invisibly sported and seeming indeed to hang in the blue were the snow called mon mountain tops that grew larger and bolder as the sides of the valley drew together but the three men looked only steadfastly across the valley second example maybe 
he gripped the bridle of his prancing horse and searched amidst the grass a long and clinging thread fell across his face a gray streamer dropped about his bridle arm some big active thing with many legs ran down the back of his head he looked up to discover one of those gray masses anchored as it were above him by these things and flapping out ends as a sail flaps when the boat comes about but noise lessly two in a pair come up with interesting adjectives comparisons or metaphors to describe a wet road after a long amount of rainfall rainy road b a cat that has been stuck out in the rain wet cat or trapped cat c a park on a sunny day scenic park or splendid park d a room that has just been cleaned cleaned room or tidy room d discuss and write one discuss the character of the little man the master and the gaunt man note down their characteristics and their relationship to each other and then compare them answer the little man is a brave person little man can look over the situation he bravely fights with all the other webs and clears the path way of the three man as he grabs the whip of the horse with one hand and kills the spiders with the sword the master is clever man he estimates the situation later when a round ball like thing covered by a cobweb get gets on to them spinning quickly the master gets succeeded in hiding himself behind the rocks he waits for the passing of spiders when he sees the little man he kills him cruelly and takes his horse and escapes away the gaunt man second in rank he was disappointed after a long search into a very broad spacious valley he looks scared the gaunt man gets surrounded by the spiders and he eventually dies two what happened to the runaways write about it answer in their haste to escape from the broad spacious valley the master and his horse plunged down a ravine and hid himself there and watched the strange masses to pass on the gaunt man was killed by the spiders and the master kills the little man after that and takes his horse and escapes thanks for listening for new videos don't forget to subscribe my channel and if you like my videos please share and like